I am Tandong Chiako, calling the action for you in the English commentary position. And alongside me is none other than the legendary Springbok, Lawrence Sipaka. It's a pleasure to bring you the end of by Wilfred Cupido and Marlon Ashwin, once again the fullback who played in the game yesterday, icing on the top of the cake. Absolutely, fully, they've come on the right foot here. Remember, rugby team is as good as how you actually present yourself. If you come here and underestimate your opponent, you might actually show one or two things that you must have the upright pole on the right hand side. Hopefully, it curves in, otherwise, it's gonna go straight right next to the pole. But the look, if anything <laughs> to go by when it comes to kicking, how you line your ball is sometimes where it goes. Ooh, it shows a look, you kept it. Can't quite open the account of that porter. Well, a bulldog's line. His plan was not to actually survive, it was to play. Unfortunately, Scrum offered him something different. Let's see if the border gonna use something with this line out. He slightly got collapsed. But what does the say? He says, No, the ball go. I think we can go. The force are keen to play. They're hungry. Lovely to see it. Obviously, taking on the big boys, showing some muscle, come some heart. But in Kensington, that's where we're at, the east of Johannesburg, at the lovely JP High School for boys hosting this very tournament. But I'm not alone. I am with a man that understands, speaks, and knows the game. Going, and obviously this uh, this young man, Carlson, wants to go. He wanted to score himself. He had to. Obviously, did get a call. He saw the arm, but the arm was not really that up. It was more horizontal. But for him, it looked like it's a straight arm. I wanted to go anyway. But another scrum feed there for the province. Got an ideal. I mean, a rare opportunity for them to be camping in the 22. I think that. Uh, Attempted tackle in the midfield from border. Commentators <laughs> curse the commentators <laughs> curse coming to fruition and the Western Province team give away the penalty then from the line out to the border Bulldogs with a quarter of one hour to go. Now the bronze final went all the way right up until the end. The Falca won it in the final ten seconds, if you may, of the game. This one not quite as clear cut decided either so it will probably potentially go all the way with western province in the lead and definitely a momentum shift by the men from the cape Ooh. it goes in province will be empty to make sure they don't give them that satisfaction time is almost what up here yeah. at jp hey. high school for boys it's an excellent hey. offload can you get over the line touchdown it's close margins we're looking we're looking and the referee is looking Ooh. as well. He's in close proximity to evaluate the situation. And the try doesn't go to play. Oh, it's not a war to wait. He's consulting, he's consulting. This is big. This Time is big, consulting. ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. A human players on the bench were eager to run onto the pitch. And that's it, ladies and gents. 2013, 2014. Ooh. Make that 2023 now in your calendar. Western Province winners of the Hollywood Foundation. Ikawe week they are the powers they are the heroes they are the champions and that will be felt from cape town to nice to camps bay these are your champions those are your heroes relish it eat it in suck it up western province winners jubilation for western province supporters and parents and coaches well deserved like i said good teams will find a way well for david board i think the tank must have run empty at 